Hey guys, in this lesson, we're going to learn everything about symbols and nested symbols. Now, symbols are a powerful feature in Sketch that uh, allows you to reuse uh, elements easily across your document's artboards and pages, or even multiple documents. And uh, a symbol is made up of two parts, a master, and uh, that is uh, which takes the appearance of an artboard, and an instance, which is a flattened representation of the master. Now, let's uh, go ahead uh, and uh, let me show you the concept uh, uh, right away. So I'm just going to create uh, a artboard and I'm not going to stress uh, too much about the sizing. Uh, we just want to get the main concepts across. Now I'm also going on the, the very top left uh, and I'm adding this uh, rectangle shape. So I'm just going to click and drag uh, as I have the rectangle tool selected. And as you can see, I just created this uh, rectangle and I'm going to delete the border just so um, I can show you some concepts a little bit better. Now I'm going to use Command C and Command V in order to create uh, a duplicate of this rectangle. And you can see it here on the left uh, in the layers panel. And I'm just going to make uh, this uh, rectangle smaller and uh, I'm going to change uh, its uh, color. And uh, the reason why I'm doing this uh, will become uh, uh, clear in just a moment. Now, as we have these uh, two rectangles, the small uh, blue one and the gray one, I'm just going to rename uh, rectangle blue. And uh, this uh, rectangle is going to be called background. So I'm just renaming them um, by using by selecting them and using command plus R. You can also double click and you can rename this. But uh, that's not the most important thing uh, for now, it's just for demonstration purposes. Now, I'm going to select both of them. And uh, as you can see at the very top, uh, you can uh, see in the toolbar this uh, call to action, which is create symbol. And uh, you can also use the help and uh, go ahead uh, and uh, find it uh, in uh, under the layers if you ever forget where it is. Or, and by the way, this help is very useful for if you're looking to search for anything in Sketch. So uh, as you can see here, you can also go under layer and create symbol. So let's just click on it and we're going to rename it to element. And this is going to be the name of the symbol. So basically what this uh, uh, window is, uh, it's a notification that we're creating a new symbol here is going to be the name of the symbol which we can change uh, later on uh, and uh, basically what's happening is that it's, this is going to create a new symbol in uh, the um, symbols page which uh, which is going to be a new page which is going to be created so make sure that this uh, check mark is uh, um, is checked but it is going to be like this by default so just don't touch it really, <laughs> and uh, click on OK. Now, as you can see under the pages, uh, uh, you can see this uh, new page, which is symbols. And uh, if we click on it, we can see the element which we have just created. And uh, this is our first symbol, which is uh, um, composed, uh, which you can see by the purple text and uh, also this uh, icon with the two arrows, this notifies that uh, it's a symbol. And if you go back to page one, uh, we can see these two arrows, um, this almost refresh I um, icon arrows um, going uh, and uh, notifying us that uh, we successfully created a symbol. Now, if we go ahead and we copy this a few times, which I'm going to use uh, command plus shift and uh, or actually um, Alt, and I'm just going to use uh, Alt plus Shift uh, and move uh, this current symbol down. And I'm going to use Command plus D um, just two times in order to create a few copies. Um, you can see that right now we have uh, four symbols and uh, we cannot access the layers inside of it. And uh, if you want to do so, we can simply double click and we are going to be redirected into the symbols page. Now, symbols are great because uh, um, if you make any changes, so if, for example, we move this blue 
um, rectangle uh, on the center and we go back uh, to page one, you can see that uh, this uh, um, change in location has been uh, affected by all of the elements. And this can be a huge time saver, a huge time saver when you're working with uh, large projects or even smaller projects that need uh, uh, tweaks uh, which uh, um, are going to, to be throughout repeating elements. So using symbols can be really great. Now I'm going to undo this and I'm going to show you the power of uh, nested symbols. Now what nested symbols are, are basically symbols inside symbols. So let me show you this. I just duplicated this rectangle and uh, I am going to rename it to um, segment and the name isn't really important. The, thing, the important thing to do now is to create a new symbol. So I'm just going to click here, create a new symbol. And uh, as you can see, as I just renamed the segment, you can see the name update also here. So I'm just gonna click OK. And as you can see on the right, uh, we have a new segment. And uh, if I go ahead and duplicate this segment, and uh, let's say that we're going to change the color of one and also the other one. Uh, let's do, let's use uh, uh, this color over here. Now, one thing which we can do now is uh, since we have two segments, we can rename them into, this is going to be segment orange and uh, this one is going to be segment green. And the reason why I'm using this uh, slash uh, is because uh, you're going to um, nest them within uh, a particular layer and uh, it's going to be obvious in uh, just a moment. But if we, if we go back uh, into the symbols, we can see the new uh, segment. And let's say that we want to have uh, a segment which is uh, orange just in, in this uh, symbol instance right, right here. We can simply go ahead on the very right and under overrides, you can see segment orange. You can click on it and you can you can uh, swap the green segment only in this one without the need to create uh, an entire new symbol. So this open, opens up for a lot uh, of opportunities and um, you can really create uh, and uh, have a, a high level of um, flexibility within uh, the design systems which uh, you're creating. So this is really cool. And uh, also regarding symbols, you're going to find all of the symbols right up here under this uh, um, menu bar or this uh, icon over here. And basically you can see all of the symbols which we created, which is element and then the two segments. So uh, this is going to be the base uh, for from which uh, you're going to have uh, all of uh, the design system. And uh, one tip which uh, I can give you, and this saved me like literally hundreds and hundreds of hours uh, in the past year, is uh, this plugin uh, called Sketch Runner and uh, it's uh, this one right here. So if you go on Google and uh, you search for sketch up runner plugin, uh, or you can even uh, uh, look up for runner plugin for sketch, uh, you're going to find it immediately. It's a free plugin uh, and uh, it's an amazing plugin because uh, you can use it uh, via the um, shortcut command and then uh, this uh, apostrophe. And uh, basically, um, this allows you to search uh, for symbols within uh, this plugin over here, as well as doing uh, many, many other things. Um, but uh, it's really been a great time saver. And uh, I've been working with uh, multi-million dollar companies on very, very large design systems. And I still do on a daily basis. And I can tell you that this plugin uh, it's a uh, really a great feature and uh, also these systems and the, these using nested symbols if you go ahead and actually um, like it will take a while for you to learn 
But uh, if you focus on learning and uh, using uh, these best practices over here, you're going to be a uh, 10 steps ahead of uh, other designers because this will really help you uh, stand out and create a really flexible and scalable design systems which are going to be a great asset for uh, many companies out there and uh, clients. Now, um, this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, as always, I highly recommend you to now stop the video Go ahead and uh, jump into Sketch and try these things out. Just play around with concepts. You can use images, you can use text. Uh, just play around with symbols for the next uh, uh, 15 minutes, half an hour, an hour, whatever you, you prefer. And uh, try to apply these uh, concepts because, because that's the best way uh, for you to consolidate this learning. Hope to, uh, you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.